Especially with was. Anytime it rains here, it cuts up something awful. Terribly. Anytime we seem to come yeah. out here, it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, it's weather. lashing every time. But yeah, it's, it's just lashing. It's just terrible weather. Come shot on the ball. It's just a very dirty game here today. Now. Like it's very much a war of attrition. Like just who wants it more? Ball. Yeah, who wants it more? How hungry are you for that ball? So let's point his finger there as if he's taking one drink to go. Great tack. Great tack from Soupy, just holding the man up. Cobbsy with an amazing block there. Yeah, that should give Finns a good bit of a lift. Oh. Oh. That's a long advantage now. Wide ball with advantage there. Craig very Smith sloppy. with a probably look. It's very loose. Lucky, lucky escape there for um, for Craig not to get booked because there was a bit of a wall swing on the shoulder. Number 11 with another free here. He's already missed two today, he scored two. 50%, is he gonna up that percentage or is he gonna down it? Jeez, it is bogey, Ryan said it. Yeah. Bogey sight there, folks. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a few of them scams going around. There's, there's a Thomas Davis Camogie, like, Division 7 one. It was going around, there was a scam. It was like a, a, a registered event or something on Facebook. It's just disappointing now that people are trying to make money. Oh, Fair Foley's app is saying it's on YouTube now. Is it on YouTube now? Castle with the free. Looks like it's a good score. That's nuts. Three all here in O'Toole Park, about 18 minutes into the junior final. West Ham beat Leicester 3-0. That's huge. That's massive. No West Ham supporters on this team, I think. Shout out to Mikey Roach, he supported West Ham. He loved uh, Arnautovic. <laughs> Where's he now? Mikey? No, well. <laughs> Mikey no, Arnautovic. Arnautovic. Arnautovic went and took the money in China, the ball. Is he in China? Yeah, I think so. Colin Shaw looking to win the breaks here. Oh, here's Connor our sideline reporter, TJ Howard. <laughs> TJ Howard comes towards us here. He's looking absolutely gorgeous. No. We don't know. Well, it's recorded. For it's it's pre-recorded or something. So, so you, can, you can give us a half-time analysis if you want. We'll be back. Stay back with us, sure. Might as well. Like. Oh, I thought you were... Uh, there's a scam or something. There's a scam going around. What? There's a scam. Some website. Stop. Yeah. Look at the chat. It's the chat. I haven't been able to take up my phone. Darren Green here at the free. Three all at the moment. Well, it's up now. It's up now. The stream's up now. Is it? Yeah. Green here with the free here, 65 yards out. Do an interest. Oh. If you're joining us live. Okay. If you're just joining us live here and now, we're just back in the championship final. We're back, yeah? Join us live, we're just back here. Three points apiece in the championship final. It's about 20 minutes gone, Darren Green with the free, and so far, Sean, it's pretty much been a battle of the free takers and who wants that dirty ball the most. Yeah, I don't think there has been a score from play, has there? There hasn't been a score no. from play as of yet. Very there is. Okay. Finns also missed the penalty. That's a dangerous ball in. Yes. It's a goal for Finns! Mikey Rock with a goal! The Mikey. goal machine! It was, it was a mixture, I think. Oh. Mikey Rock celebrated. Okay. He gave the. We'll have to confirm that at half time now, but it I was either. It was it was either Mikey or it was Carl who got the goal. That's a big lift in the game like this. Three points in the Last one score. One. That's what a goal is, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Cole, that's off the, a, off the ground there now. Again, the battle on the ground is real here. Dicky, Dicky nearly has it. Craig Smith trying to get over the ball. Uh, no one's coming out of this. Craig Smith comes out with the ball with the new boots on, the flashy ones. Oh, Ow. very harsh. The ref couldn't see that. He had, Craig had his back to him. There was no way the referee could see that. That's a joke. Poor by the referee here now. And see, this is what happens to some There's referees. They, they want the attention on them, so they start giving frees. There was no way the referee saw that. There couldn't be a hope, sure. He wasn't even... Throw it in, so ref. What's he doing? Wait, he wasn't ready? Don't know. The ref's just letting him take it again, though. Even though the standard rules would be to... to um, to throw the ball in. Number six. Looking for the corner again here. It's the exact same ball he just gave and the ref stopped him. Number 11 trying to get on the ball. Good tackle from Jamie Connell. Craig Smith coming out with the ball again. 
Mick Rock, was it? Mick Rock thought that. Just confirm that Mick Rock got the goal. Back. The young man's had a, a serious campaign. Um, still minor as well. It's, it's, the, it's the rugby jeans from the Belvo days, I think. Mick is just, he's flying at the moment. Like he's, he's made a big impact since coming into both panels. He's on the senior panel for the championship final, or the intermediate panel for the championship final. <laughs> there, thereabouts next year in the first. He will be definitely. He's, he's a he's a big, big man, and and he's uh, sorry. We're just looking at T.J. Howard here, who just looks like I don't know. He looks like a <laughs> banana. That's, that's yeah. all we can say. He looks like a banana boy. It's a sideline here now for Castlenock. Number eight taking it. That's a Great good ball, ball in. He might skid out if they let it go. Why ball? Why is it saving me today? I can't you see? <laughs> <I'm wondering. laughs> What's the new haircut then? It is the new haircut, John. More, more like Sammy Bukas, I would have said. So, Finn's a bit static here now. Jamie, the only one moving. That's a good ball there from Danny. It's a lovely ball from Ford. Jamie looking to run at them and deliver the ball in. Mikey Rock could get inside now. Win the ball. Yes. Oh, Mikey Rock's inside. Mikey Rock's. That's a very good tackle. Oh, he's in again. Should be a free in. Somehow it's not a free in because the refs managed it from 65 yards away. The ref needs to get control in this game here because he's, ref he's refing it from 65 yards away. It's impossible to see anything from where he is, like. He's saying it's a wide ball now. 1-3-3 on three three and the ref is just, ref needs to get some control on this because it's just it's not good for the players and it's not good for anyone watching. Keeper's coming about six yards outside his box there to hit the flipping puck outs. Thiago Silva on the ball here. <laughs> for, oh, he's trying to do the... Oh, that's a bad tackle from Paul Murphy. The ref's letting him go, oh, he's calling him in, he's giving him the, the gimme, finger. he's giving him two curry chips, please, to go. <laughs> you can't be doing that, like. Uh, ah, he's giving great, them the great, ah, ref. Great technique. Look at that, he's the hand ah, on the shoulder. The hand on the shoulder. I didn't mean the ref. We know more, more meant by. You can sweet talk, Come, come across the pitch there now, with Shane Nolan. Shane Nolan, <laughs> looking well. <laughs> the ref. The ref, what the ref seems to be doing here? Oh, Castle Lock doing a bit of a cork 4 on it, switching the balls. You can't be doing that, lads. He's giving them a... Uh, what's he doing? Giving them a um, sanded down ball there so he can hit it better. Number 11 with the free, and it seems to be... Seems to be, again, what we've spoken about, the battle of the free takers. Number 11. It's well struck. Looks like it's uh, over the bar. I'm fairly sure he scored all of Castlenock's points today, number four. Greener with all of Finn's points, and then Mikey Rock with the goal. Danny. Not judging the puck outs correctly here now, it's just getting the better of him a bit. He's putting out over play. He seems to be hitting that far side every puck out. Yeah, I think Finns need a bit more moving in that where Jamie is constantly staying in the number 12 position, like where he can shift over to centre forward or shift over to... Too short. Too short there now from Captain Nock trying to do the 1-2 the uni flip. And it didn't work, David Cullen was onto it like a flash and the ref, refing from 40 yards away. Is that three away. or something? I'm actually not too sure now. See, the ref could do anything here. He could just take up the ball and walk away. God, it's a sloppy free to go away. It's it a very sloppy free. This is a huge free now. You can see Lockie out helping there. Um, Lockie helping David Cullen. It's been a great asset to the team, Lockie. Best, best, best water boy in the whole the North County Dublin. Just see the size of the number three now marking. Well struck it. Oh, Connor Byrne onto it very well. First touch is perfect. Looking short in the grip. Wide ball, another wide from Finns. So 
Poor Kevin from Castle Lock. Good ball out. Jamie Connell up well. They've got no call behind them though. Craig Smith needs to be careful here with the freeze. Danny Moyton coming out well. Coming out. Number 14 is dangerous. He's after oh, slipping. Is there an injury? No. So he'll be coming out. There's Alpha Male Cobbsy coming out with the ball. David Cullen, great first touch up into the hand. Looking to play the lines, but Carl Riley wasn't expecting it down that side. Number six read it very well. Number six, looking to use that full forward line again. Coming out the corner forward, Tom the captain tracking him. Cuddle Shaw doing well getting it in front. Cuddle Shaw, you're looking to use his pace. The young man looking to use his pace. He's talking Irish as he's, as he's running there, the Gael Gore. Mikey Rock up into his hand, gives a great ball off. Cuddle Shaw looking to use his pace now again. Ah, that's very hard. Listen to that woman over there. That wasn't steps. Harsh decision there, we feel, by the ref. I think he's been influenced by a few mammies over here at Castle Lock. Um, she shouldn't really be here. No, no, that's a very fair point. That is a very fair point. <laughs> Centre back here with the free. Very high ball. Higher or more than further. David Cullen doing well and then breaks all day. David Cullen up again. They're playing very well. He is playing well. Cobbsy getting on a bit more ball now as well. Into the corner forward to Dickey. Dickey gets the ball into his hand first time. Dickey with that left, left side and it's trailing off right and wide. He won junior championships over the summer there with the, with the English crowd. He was over there doing a bit of construction work, I know. He can win another junior championship here today and it'll be huge. How many people win two junior championships in one year, sir? In two different countries as well. He can't be doing it, but he's doing it. Palmer, if you're looking to get on the brakes here. Oh, that was a nice there flick from the free taker. He's looking at Paul Murphy looking to track him down there here. Paul Murphy, the yeah. quickest man in North Dublin. Can't get back to him. That's a dangerous ball in. That's a Danny Mighton deals with it very well. Connor Byrne on the brakes again. Number 15 has it. Great. Good man. block. Paul Murphy out again on number 11. Looking for his options outside near the 45. Number 7 into his hand. He's been very good so far in this game. Great block from Dickey. Dickey kicking it too far ahead of himself and has to try and pull on the ground. Sure, that line's been more busy than some of the players there in this half. There's been a lot of sidelines over here. Not one for Vince. Not one. No. Well, that's where the problem is, isn't it? Number eight. He skewed this off a bit right the last time, but it was a good ball in. Again, same, same enough. Same thing again. Super trying to get to it. Defense working very hard here from Vince. Kino Ray doing well with his left side. Jamie Connell playing very well at the moment, using his strength. Hey, oh. free out there now. Thank you, Chuck. The ref seeming to give some decisions for Robert some things. Is everywhere today. Go on. Greener looking to use his pace to get inside. Greener has the beating of him on pace. He is slow. That pull back. Oh, he was trying to play Mick Rock inside, but and then that's the half. We're stuck at one, three to four points for Finns. Shawnee, a strange enough half. Yeah, awful conditions. Not suiting either team. Only one. The goal is the only score from play. It's, now the rain it's, it's a tough hell game to play in though, like I, I, don't, I don't envy them. I envy them that they're in the championship final, but I don't envy them of actually having to perform out there. So it's, it's not easy, it's not easy at all, but the defence is keeping solid. Just need, if they can cut out them frees. Yeah, if they can cut out frees, that's, that's the big one. And here we have Castle Lock men going into the dressing room. No, they shouldn't really be doing that. At half time. And we're going to get our uh, half time. Analysis here from young TJ Harry. TJ, what do you think of the game so far? I think they need faster ball into the full forward line, don't faster they? Faster ball. TJ says that all the time. The first thing. Faster ball. We'd be rich. And sure. on a side note, Kira, if you're watching, I love you. Stick on the tee for half three. Can we cut that out, Kira? Just what? Look. No, no, no. What we'll say is, TJ, pull in the corner and I'll do the rest. Exactly. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's all you'll say. Motto. Put in the corner and I'll do the rest. Now, TJ might be able to answer this question. TJ, why are Castellanca allowed to use changing rooms? And Finns aren't. Well, that's a question I can't answer, Shane. It's a bit of a joke Finns here are. now. Hmm? Finns have a dressing room. Well, Finns aren't using the dressing room, are they? Because yeah, they're eight. And there's a few men now coming over oh, trying to flock around the mic here. Kieran, can we turn the mic off because... Come on. It was See, there's a bogey link going around there.
We're back. Can you hear it? Team's coming back out here and there for the second half, Sean. Just shout out to Ryan O'Dwyer, who was saying that we were actually a brilliant commentary team. Ryan, you know, they can't get you on the Sunday end because you end up fighting everyone. Isn't that right? <laughs> that's right, that's the only reason you're not on the Sunday game, boy. I don't know why he's not here. Why isn't he here, Sean? He's across the road. He's probably making up an excuse that he's with the woman or something. Any changes can you see, Sean? Nike Rock said to centre forward for this second half. That's the only just positional change. Kyle Riley's gone inside. You can see Bambi with the brolly over there. No, you can't. He's, he's warming up. You cannot see Bambi with the brolly. I was missing for him. So we have the, the pleasure of seeing Finn's defenders down this end who have kept the Castlemock forwards to four points. But again, the freeze are the issue here. Man, the rain has picked up a bit. The rain has picked up a bit. Two point game. Finns will be. I did make a prediction. The Finns will win by two before the game. So when did you say that? I did on the way up to Chitsu Lucas' age. Ask Alan. Alan, Alan heard me. I said, he said 13 points win, and I said two point win. So hopefully, oh, Paul, Finns can keep this now. Paul Murphy trying to win the breaks here now, and Conor Byrne. Paul Murphy gets onto it. The heartbreak kid. He's trying to. Yeah, didn't, doesn't beat the half back line with the strike in. Jamie Collin working hard trying to make it make a hook. Keenan Brady trying to cover across here. Colin Shaw stalls the ball up. Colin Shaw coming out with the ball again. So you just you see now two for this. Out of the way. Well, well done by Paul Murphy, flicking it away. Elusive. Good ball into the full forward line. Full back coming out, he is coming out. Greener is working very hard though to dispossess him. And Vins have dispossessed him. Greener has the ball back. Greener travelling in. Free. No free in. Centre back coming out, got on a rake of ball in the first half. Out to David Cullen, jump pop over the point. Drops it. Gets it back in the hand. Mm. Oh! Because he dropped into the right top corner, but keeper puts it over 65. Carl Riley limping here on the right side. Vins looking to make a change. They're not. Carl seems to be okay. He's just going to walk it off. 65 to Finns now. And as we mentioned so much in this game, frees are so vital. They seem to be the only... Is there a shiver there, Shane? Bit of a shiver there. <laughs> so what happened to me? I get the shiver sometimes. Greener with the 65. Donna. In tell him to go for goal again. That bit is dead on to Donna. He got it from the museum, the Finns Museum of Hurling. Where would that be saying? The estuary. Pub. <laughs> Greener, with 65. You could almost hear a pin drop if it wasn't for the rain. Lifts the ball, strikes, well, left, it's on its it? way, left. It's kept in. David Cullen on the ball. Number seven on the ball now. Seems to be a bit of an absolute scramble in there just to get it into their hands. David Cullen pulling. Carl Riley on the ball now. It's just bobbling around on the ground in there. No one really bending the arse and getting down over the ball. Comes out number seven. He's got the halfback line has got on a lot of ball for Castle Lock. Good tackle by Connor Byrne. Number eleven on the ball now. Gives the ball down the line. Keanu Brady trying to sweep up like the Dyson Hoover. Paul in to help him. Paul gets on the ball again. Conor Byrne looking to get it. He puts the ball in the full forward line. Oh, Dicky with the whip on the ground. You think he just miscued it? Great chance. Number six, out of the ball, just over Subi's head. Paul Murphy sweeping in behind again. Paul Murphy does very well and wins the free. He's been everywhere today. Craig Smith coming over to take the free. Finn's very own Paddy O'Loughlin. White bottoms. No. Who is it? I can't even see, where is he? In the grey? Yeah. Do he walk top? I don't know. Craig Smith switching the play. That's a great, great ball out to Mikey Rock. Mikey Rock in loads of space. Probably looking to take the full back on now. Cut back, cut back. Gives it in, just over the head of Carl Riley. 
trying to go for the alley oop goal. Number five on the ball here now for Castleknock. Looking to strike it out. Paul Murphy on the ball again. He's everywhere. Just lose. He needs to shorten up that grip. Well done, Green. Or savage work from Darren Green. Shamozzle again occurring in the middle of the pitch. Who's going to be first in the breaks? It's Jamie Connell. Got on a lot of ball in the first half. Oh, Jamie oh, just right. thrown away, just he gets away with the Cubs, he has it. Castlenock working very hard here. Trying to dispossess and stop Finn's running game. Dickie out on front. Uh, Dickie trying to do the right thing, giving the hand pass. Finn's getting on a bit top here now, they need to get a score out of this play. Nice. Dickie has the ball, looking to get it onto his left side. Comes out somehow to a Castlenock man. I don't know how that just happened. Shaw's trying to go with the, the hand, goes with the hurl instead. Needs a hand in there. People are looking at him rather than getting in. Paul Murphy with a great block. Connor onto the ball. Who is that? Connor Byrne. No, in the white box. Wide ball from Connor Byrne. That was good play though. Finns need to start capitalising a bit more. And Finns first over the day is coming in here. Kieran Bambers Bambrick coming on. And it looks like they're taking out Carl Riley. They'll be looking at target, Bambi's catching, and his top spin strike. He said that him and Shinners were out pucking during the week there, now practicing against the ball wall. Lucy going off chasing the ball. And I've heard he's already made engagement plans. Is that ah. so? That's, that wouldn't surprise me. He's going to get the championship medal hopefully carved into an engagement ring and put it on the finger. That's the rumour going around. Bambi's been talking to him. As, <laughs> <laughs> as if he's trying to go to the toilet and broth. <laughs> Babs in, Dirk Kout number 18, into the full forward line. Straight in. There's a big height advantage there already. Already could even get bigger by the end of the game. Where's the ball? Puck out. Puck out. Isn't it? Connor Bam, Broom. Bam, no, he has to go back out. <laughs> talking about being aware. <laughs> Tuned in. On the roads, I'm on the pitch. Super so doing well getting out in front. Number oh, number eleven trying to flick a schlick. Oh. Ooh, no, he's saying no. Uh. It's a free into <laughs> Castle Lock all day. And there was a pull there from the Castle Lock man. Oh, Bambi into the thick of things. Does well. well done, Bam. Does very well. Bambi oh. get out. Hold his hurl. That's a great yes. ball. Ah, well done. Great start for Bambi. Won his own ball. Fist pumps all around. Fist pumps all around. The two Black Hoovers combined in there. Dirk Cout and Jordan Henderson for Liverpool in the red. 14 and 18. It's just, it's great to see. It's great to see. You up for first score of the second half now, hopefully. Greener now, hopefully just tap this ball. It's surely closer in than where Greener is there now. Yeah, it's on 21, I think. Now, can you start dishing some cards? It's Greener, it's way up there. The, the free has been taken from about 20 yards. Before. Where's he going? If, uh, the only thing I can. Unless he's given the for Bambi the, gift. Yeah, for it. So Bambi stat pattern. Now, they've, Finns have got through a couple of times and I'm just take, taking the fail. The ref needs to start. It's a great score there. from Darren Green. 1 4 to 4. Goal in it. That, that's the impact you want your souls making straight away. From Bambi. Puck out. Keanu Brady up, on the breaks, David Cullen, does well. David Cullen, <laughs> working very hard today. Full forward's dangerous, Danny, he's, he's about to turn Danny. Great hook from Danny Moythen. Well, and then Sue being the help. Number 17, Sub coming in for Castleknock. Great block from Cunnell Shaw. Finn's defence standing very firm here today. The ball come now. Supic has the ball, trying to burst out. Looks like it's a sideline ball to Castleknock. Again, the number eight will go over and take it. And Finns just need to be right. It's been going skewing right the whole time. So Finns will be hoping that he does something similar. But he has been getting them off the ground. They have been going a good distance. Oh, is it? It's Bernard, yeah. In fact. He's wearing a bonnet shot. <gasps> oh, he didn't touch it, so he didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. Oh, you can't pull again. Well, if Craig, Craig touched the first. Ball in. Subi takes the ball brilliantly and he drives out of defence. Gets hooked. Does well, does well. Does well. Cole Shaw now trying to dummy his way out. Gives a dangerous looking ball to Jamie Connell. 
Such tough conditions. Jamie now can use his pace to get away. Jamie looking to get away. He's still going. Ooh, Mikey Rock does brilliantly. That's it. In the box. That looks like it's a great ball in. Odell Beckham esque. <laughs> Bam just comes out. David Cullen looking to track down the man. For, yeah, I think he was playing advantage from the previous pull. Fair enough. That was a great, that was a great play though from Finns. Where they're working on one side of the pitch, and that switch kills the team. Looks like there's another. So. Just uh, shout out to JJ McCormick standing outside the raid, watching the O'Toole Park. Ball out. Tom does well here on the break. Tom looking to use his pace to get inside the captain of the team. Paul Murphy with a great pickup. Looks like it's around the neck there. Ref lets it play on. Oh! <laughs> what a play from Murph! <laughs> get the replay on that. That was gorgeous. It's in the dicky now. <laughs> Dicky back out to Mikey Rock. Mikey Rock. He needs to try and take on the man. That's a oh. lovely flick. Into Bambi. Yes. Bambi sticks the ball over the bar. And that's a great move up the whole pitch. From the flick from Paul. The work rate from Tommy Kelly. Tom Kelly. Into Paul Murphy with the flick and up to Bambers. A great score. That's a great score from Fingalians. Up by four points now. One five to four points. That was outrageous. And look who's warming up over there for Finns, the Wombat Aaron Martin, looking to make his introduction into the game. Sideline for Finns now. Jamie Connell specialist in this now. Bit like a Paul Graves bush. We'll see what happens here. Jamie can put these very long. <laughs> What's this say? Keep the rally up. Jamie Connell using the towel. Jeez, we're nearly two towels after this game, Shawners. It's been wet all day, boy. Hasn't stopped. Hasn't stopped. The ref, the ref calling for the ball here, as if he's the I bouncer. He's, Jesus Christ. Let them play. Dry up. <laughs> it's hard to dry up in this weather, but I agree <laughs> with you. Connor Byrne on the brakes. Dickie in win the break. Well Dickie doing very well, trying to burst out of the tackle. Ball out, and it's a Finns ball, and the refs can't take it off them again. Now, Jamie's just going to pick up the pace a bit more, a bit more doing it this way. <sighs> sure, we've all seen it. We're just getting a bit of confirmation. It's the ball, the video froze open. Paul was doing a bit of skill. It was one of the most beautiful pieces of her own I've seen in a long time. Where Bambi gone up for the ball here. We'll tell you a bit more about that now. The next stop of play with Paul Murphy. Darren Green out in front. Such tough conditions here. Mike, you're all getting up, spinning. Doing well. He's in on goal here. Gives it to Richie. Richie into David Cullen. David Cullen. Oh, what a block for the Castle Lock fullback. What a block. That was insane. That was so well worked. And in fairness, that was a superb block by the Castle Lock player. Because that would have been GG Re. That would have yeah. been a good game rematch. You know what I mean? That would have been top bins, hopefully. But Finns, Finns are getting on top here. No, Finns they're definitely. They've owned the second half so far. As, as they'd say about Liverpool, they're flexing their muscles. I don't know what they said about Liverpool now, but... We're league champions. Right. Three out of three in the league, really so count. league. Didn't count. No, 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 no. It says it on the declaration here. <laughs> champions. <laughs> they agree with the 65 here. The Wombat is still warm. Oh, he's doing the activation movements over there. Greener with the free. 65 yards out. The Engineer. Greener with a great score. Straight over the black spot for Greener. Superb score from the engineer. The former White Hall man used to be a keeper. That's great now to get a score out of that. This point not to get the goal, but he's came away with something. But that's what we're saying. Greener's clean strike and probably comes from his history of being a keeper and having that pressure on him to hit perfect book outs. Now there's two fins about warming up here at the moment. We have the red wizard Paddy Lynn and we have Aaron Mott, and so we'll see who we introduce first. Finn's working very hard here now. Number five in. Soupy up for the ball. Win the break as well. Ooh, could be a chop there, but the rest less than way out. Number 11, it's going to be a free in. It's going to be a free in. Craig Smith got caught again there. Number 11 trying to throw his way down a bit. 
It's amazing that people still give out even though they get the decision, you know what I mean? And look, he looks like he's bringing in. Moved up. Bringing in for what? The ref is on this high horse there now. He may as well be on... What's that? Kicking King. Is that one of the Cheltenham winners a few years ago, I remember? He may as well be on this high horse. Or what's uh, TJ would know? TJ's better source, Rex. The only horse I know is Tiger Roll. We'll give him that one, so. Tiger Roll. Or um, Shamu. Shamu. It's a horse, isn't it? Could be. <laughs> There's, an a, there's another one. There's another. Or no, it's a whale. It's a, I know, but there's another. There's another horse. What's it? Hildago. Have you ever see that movie? No. With the horse that race across the desert. Well, that's the, that's the horse to rest on. That's high horse there. Dishing out cards. Dishing out freeze. The man in black thinks he's you Johnny Cash. Have a single card yet, I think he dished out one card there. There's the first one of the day. The free is shown. You know what I mean? He's like Johnny Cash there. The man in black. Free in for Castlebuck. Number eleven. Puts it over the bar. Easy enough. Lose free. the ball. I think that just hit Bambi's car there. Actually, I don't know what happened. What's got in this half, Sean? Uh, Just so he's got, it's probably a lot of it now. Probably, that's what he's looking at. He's not moving out too much, so... 1-6 one six, really. one six to 5 points to Finns. 4 points in it. We're probably looking at 15 minutes left. Go poke air from Danny Laney. Nicely touched down by the cast. Oh, he looks like he's on top from there. Yeah. I don't see. A, I can't see the score because your man's umbrella is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guessing game. Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> great hook by, and great work by Keen O'Brady and Connor Byrne. One getting the hook, one getting the block, and it's a joint effort. Sideline here now from our very own Paddy O'Loughlin, Craig Smith. Neat reference. No, no, no. Best barman in Malahide, I heard. The Grand Hotel. Is there subs coming in here uh, now, is there? Water break. Water break. So, Sean. For us? Is that David, is it? We'll see now. We'll see when they come back out. At the moment, the Finns will be happy. They've doubled their total since half time of how much they're up. Four Got points. A text up. from our very own Connor Grimes asking for a shout out. Connor Grimes looking for a shout out. He's Bird probably out. watching it from, from the Radisson, is he? With his missus, yeah. I'm surprised he made an appearance yesterday with the golf. You're surprised? Probably be out with the missus. No, he's gone to the hotels that many times now. He doesn't have to buy shampoo from the shops anymore. He just takes it off from the bathrooms and brings it home. The free, the free samples. It doesn't say a word. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why he takes shampoo. He doesn't have a head, hair in his head. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, he has a, a Liverpool the older bag he does. And him and Mark Kelly, a picture of him and Mark Kelly saying, CK plus MK for life. <laughs> we bleed red, literally and metaphorically. That's what it says on it. Oh, fair play to you, Grimesy. You love the missus. Joint bank account already. Fair play. I can just see Nolan here barking. That's all I'd, all I'd say, barking. Last 15 minutes here now. Finn's 15 minutes away from a junior championship. <coughs> Paddy Lynn, the Red Wizard, is on, in fact. We were just getting a bit of details about that. Looks like David Cullen has gone off. So Paddy Lynn, Red Wizard, is in. Is Paddy on? I thought Mahan was warm enough, I thought he was going to come on. I thought Mahan looks like he's ready to come on over there, he's just waiting for the go-ahead. Trying to make eye contact with the manager, I think. <laughs> Put me on. There seems like there's a problem here at the Castle Knock, so I don't know what's happening, the, the rest don't look again. <sighs> seems like there's a massive hole up here. We don't, we're actually a bit unsure what's happening right now. And now, number 19, Fernando Morientes comes on. Fernando Maria. That's a flop at Liverpool. <laughs> There's no other good 19s, is there? Let me think. Oh, let me, oh Sadio Mane first came. Awesome. Yeah, he's 19. Yeah, he went to 10 when uh, that poor Coutinho left. <laughs> Craig Smith with the sideline. It's chilly out here, Sean. Yeah, it's getting cold. <laughs> Feet are freezing. Shouldn't have worn Converse. Converse was a poor choice. To be honest, when we collected Sean here now today to go to the match, I thought he was either going on a date or a photo shoot for not how to dress. <gasps> poor side. What? What? What's that for? Oh. Do you pull? Paul Murphy down the ground. Looks like he's being called over. He called him over fairly quick there. We didn't really get a good view of that. I think the ref is just. I don't think the ref knows what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Making up as he goes along. The rules are if you hit the sideline, you're you not allowed in. to touch the ball. 
but you can run in like. Who's, is he booking someone? He Who looks is? like he's booking the fellow who hit Paul. Come on, send him off. Looks like it's just a yellow. Yellow card for number eight. We didn't really get a good view of that. Uh, Paul's hurt, so. It looks like Paul maybe dispossessed him and then. <laughs> That's, that's... Paul, did you see Paul? <laughs> he's doing bench press with her up there. <laughs> he's grand. He's walking off. He has to drive home Harvey anyway. How's he going to do that injured? Mahon warming up again here now. Craig Smith, high ball into the full forward line. Bambi up. Dickie trying to get on the brakes. Good pressure there by Finns. Looking to come out. Sideline to Finns. Now, you want to speed up now, Jamie? Jamie needs to be up. And Keno's doing well here now, just covering off this space in front of the full back line, just to make sure. Finns, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a tough, a tough day in these uh, conditions. But um, it's been low enough scoring it. Jeez, that's a mad sideline technique. That's a good ball, good in. ball in. Red Wizard has it. Red Wizard has the ball into his hand. He's looking to break through the tackle. Magic! Red Wizard gives it. Mike York's trying to take on everyone a bit, a bit like Arsenal used to play soccer. Pass the ball into the net where he could just pop the ball over the bear. Jamie Connell looks like he has the ball again. Greener trying to get in on the blind side. 65, 65. That was a bit of magic by the Red Wizard there at the Mikey. Red Wizard casting the spells all over the pitch. That was a uh, Patronus charm. So that was class. This is a very tough free now, considering by the angle and whereabouts it is. You're looking at 80 metres. So. They want to get people in the box now. This will be a goal chance. <laughs> Green are probably getting a bit of sledging here from the Castle Lock boys. You can hear it from here. That's a pin. Green are just waiting for the ball here now. As O'Toole Park goes quiet. We in turn go quiet. <laughs> to hopefully use this positive energy to push the ball off the bar. The whisper in the wind states that Greener will put the ball over the bar. Greener with the pickup. Greener. Go on. Go on. That's a it's short. Looks like it's short. Is that a goal? Oh, oh nearly a goal for Fins. It nearly trickled into the left bottom corner. That's really a penalty. That's a penalty. Number <laughs> six comes out the ball. <laughs> Connor Brown reading the play. Oh, Connor Brown reading the play well all day. Jamie Connell. It's such a messy game. Do you need to shorten the grip? Castle look, they have. They're going to get a free oh, here. They're going to get a free here. Oh, Jamie Connell with the soccer pickup. Bambi oh, has it now. Oh, Greener. Greener with a good hit there. Bambi with the steal. Chris Bosch. Bambi's made a huge difference. Bambi has made a massive difference. Only back from injury. Jamie Connell with a great ball in. Dickie nearly gets a goal. <laughs> Number six coming out with the ball. Gives it out to the halfback. Paddy the Red Wizard running in to make the block. Oh, nearly a big block. Looks like there's no one competing there. Cubsy. Paul oh. Murphy does him well. This Paul Murphy. You're no one. I say after. Cubsy, the king of the, the king of the rooks. Oh, Mikey Rock gets it up. And Mikey Rock uses pace to get away. Every decision oh, that's been given to Castle Lock on this side, like. Joker. Number 17, we're a lovely Cooper. Yeah, nice stitch, black one. Yeah, the stitch on that. I'd say he's a minor. Yeah. Castle Knock. Free. Bring, yeah, you brought a little Paddy Lynn hitting away. He did it. Yeah. They're looking to use the full four now in here oh, inside. He definitely is minor. 
Paul Murphy trying to get the break. Paul Murphy does get the break. Great strike out from Paul Murphy. They'll be happy enough with that. Just set up for the sideline now. There can't be much left. What's, what's God, lads? What's Cam? Do you don't have time running now? I had uh, 28 minutes past he started back, so. So there's about 8 minutes left. Another sub here on for Castlemont. Number 20, Javier Mascherano. Diego Jota, yeah. Liverpool's new assignment. Scored a banger against Arsenal there. Sorry, Dylan Stone to the Murta. Alright, look, boys. 3 1, Premier League. And then he's lost. At the cup? During the week. Just a cup. Energy drink sponsor. You gotta win. Yeah. You win games, Shane. Sure, United were going on there. It was a pug but won the Ballon d'Or with that free Did kick. Did you see that free kick? Massive deflection. No. You may as well. Wait, you, you we that. give up. Sideline in from Castle Knock. Dangerous ball. Paul Murphy with a nice touch. Keno Brady, alpha of the team. Look, he's flopping. Keno Brady was flopping there looking for the free. Didn't get it. What? There's a back what post here for Castle Knock if they can get it across. Keno Brady comes out. I think that's someone else's hurl, to be honest, but Keno Brady does well. Keno Brady asking the ref what the stuss is. He's looking a bit sus. Bit sus. Bit of uh, Among Us. Bit of uh, sus. Eight. Eight minutes left. Eight minutes to go. Here we're being told. Thins with a four point lead. I think they've kept Kasnok to one point since half time. That's a dangerous thing. Oh, wide ball. ball. Wide ball in there. Oh, look at them Danny, Danny Delaney, double D, looking to slow the play down there. Hopefully we can here. Great strike from Daniel Laney. Good flick on. on. Grinner looking to get on the ball. Oh, slippy, slippy hurl. Connor Byrne again on the breaks. Number five's got a lot of ball in the second half. Paul Murphy putting his body on the line there. Well done, Tom. <laughs> well done, Connell Shaw. Connell Shaw needs a bit of a hand. Connell Shaw wins a massive free over on the Castle Lock sideline. There's a few woos, Ric Flair woos go from the Finns, the Finns sidelining and um, media TV here. <laughs> There's no fans. Of course not fans. Yeah, we knew he's got a goal from this the last time. I'd say there's about six minutes left. Greener taking a, a free from a very, very similar position. Don't know Williams about the storm or something. He's been up and down that pitch. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's as good as Danny Lynch. Oof, that would be a big statement now. Lynch. What's a strike. great strike from Darren Green. That's a dangerous, dangerous ball. Oh, nearly a goal again. There's been so many goal made chances for Finns in this game. Uh, Bambi with a barge into the back, and then he did the smiley. The, 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 what am I doing, you know? Waving the hands. Number six with the free out. Come now to Connor Byrne. Paul Murphy in behind. Subi with a savage take. Subi still has it. Don't throw. Mikey Rock. Oh, what a flick from Soup. The schnig, as Nessie would say. Finn's working hard here. They're just trying not to commit any fouls. Castle Lock coming out. Oh, what a oh, hit. great oh, hit from oh, Soupy! Oh, Savage oh, hit from oh, Soupy! Oh, Huge hit from the Soup! Take that. What a hit. Aaron Maha coming in here for Fingalians. What a hit. There's, there's, a, there's a body mark on the ground from where he hit. <laughs> it was a massive hit from Supage. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a pull there. Sideline again here from Finns. The ref, the ref conducting the opera almost there with the hands and the, you know, you know. Craig Smith wearing socks. Look like socks for boots. Socks and pod socks. <laughs> 
Great club, man. Mick Rock limping a bit here, so we'll see. We'll see how that. Who came off there, Sean? Uh, Aaron came on. Er Did he come on? Aaron did come on. Did come on. I thought Jamie went off. No. Richie Fleming, is Richie it? Fleming, yeah. Richie Fleming off. Aaron Maham on. About five minutes to go, maybe less. Too short. Well done, Craig. Craig does well. Connor Byrne, frontal challenger. Oh, great hook by Mikey Rock. Who has a Connor Byrne sub? No, oh, uh, that, that harsh. Wasn't that wasn't harsh. The free ah, before. Back though. there. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that was a poor decision by the, by the ref. He's pulling it back to where it was. Number 17 with the free here. Looking very confident hitting it. Sticks it over the bar, there's a goal in it. Kosnok with no points from playing the whole game. Oh, Craig with the tactical. Straight there. Craig Swick going down. Oh, the helmet's off. Craig Smith down here now. Finns just need to, my prediction is nearly still intact. I said two point win, so hopefully. Your man has to change the score, is he? It's, it's one six to six, I'm, yeah. I'm fairly sure. Three minutes to go, we're being told here, so plenty of time still for Castlenock to get a few scores, or the referee is going in here to consult the umpire over a, a muscle injury, I think. Danny Mahan coming on here now, a stalwart. Uffingallion's hurling. One of these older statesmen in the team. Danny coming on for... Craig, is it? Who's... Craig Smith coming off, is it? Looks like it. Yeah. Limping off a bit. Craig Smith coming off, giving a very good display around the half-back line. Danny Mahan in. That's a great ball there from Danny Delaney. It's the move in Jamie Connell. Connor Byrne doing very well getting on the break. Seems like there was a shot there. Another score for Finns being massive to make it a two score game. In the Bambi. Red Wizard has it. Red Wizard trying to break out of the tackle. Gives it out to Greener on the wing. Greener looking to get into his hand. Greener, white ball. Why ball here now, that could have been an absolute clincher for Finns. Still three points up. Still a possibility here of extra time and then penalties I think it is after that is a draw. Tom just missing. That was a good tackle from Paul. Another good tackle from Paul Murphy. Tom working very hard with Paul. This fellow looks like he's a bit of pace. Number 11 getting inside. Oh, tactical foul. Tactical foul from Paul Murphy. These are all out of just stuff. A few Castanock people here saying every time, even though Finns have been pulled down five or six times going through, so just the usual mouthing from the other crowd. No. No. Uh, Paul being booked. I'd say Castanock will just put this ball over the bar and hopefully they get another chance. I don't know exactly what's left. I don't think. I think they should go for goal, really. We're not going to get more I mean, goal chances. We're not going to get three points. Only two minutes left. Is he on a goal for a chill? I think he should. It looks like he's going to try and hit it low. He's checking the wind for some reason. Ball coming there, number 11. Puts it over the bar. Two point game to Castle Lock. <laughs> My prediction is still okay. I said two points to the Finns. Oh, 
Now, Finns need to win this puck out. Finns need a big winner here. Come on, Murph. Good puck out from Danny. Yes. No. Finns haven't won it. Yes, Greener. Greener has won it. Uh, Great yes. hit from Greener. No for you. No foul. Excellent defending there. Great defending. Great defending. Danny Martin need to come in the free. It's going to be a free yes. in. I think it's going to be a free ah, in. Stop. Now, he threw it, he took steps, and there was no free there. The ref listened to Kasanok a bit here, I think. Just so many harsh frees there in the last few minutes. Three, three minutes, minutes, he's saying. It was three minutes, six minutes ago. It's three, the ref's saying there's three minutes left. And what time is it now? Quarter. Hour and 15, the game's been on already, look. Like. <laughs> three for Castle Luck. He stitched it. There's a one point there. It's then the bare minimum here for Finns. Finns need to win a puck out. They need to win something here. One point, is it? One point, Kev. Big puck out from Danny. Number 17 has it. Number 11. Don't fail. They haven't scored any from. Sixty-five here for Kasma. It's still going to be a huge ask to get this. Sixty-five yards out. They'll need to be on the brakes. It's nervous. It's nervy here now. I'm, I'm nervous. nervous. I'm very nervous now. In the last. Could be extra time. Could be extra time. What? He's not on the line. What did he say? He's not on the line. Number 11 with the free to draw the game. No. Nope. Very high. It's a dropping ball. Can't see who has it. Yes. It's out. Finns have the ball. Come Mick Rock has the ball. Put on your stick. Put on your stick. Yes, mate. Nick Rock gets it up the pitch. Straight into their centre back who has it again. Gives it straight back out. Jamie Connell. Oh, lovely. Lovely oh. touch from Paul Murphy. Paul trying to burst out. Gives it to Greener. Free, free, what free? Free yes. out to Finns. Yes. Well done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really commentating, more important now. Finns. Who are they getting to take it? That's don't. That's someone hit it quickly. Someone hit it. Someone hit it. Free here. Come on, Danny. Down the line. Oh, you're yeah, done this one. Danny looking to give a big ball. Ooh, very long in the world there. <laughs> ball in the greener. In the man. Come on, man. Who's under it? Looks like Connor Burns under it. Yes. Great block from Greener. That's three minutes, isn't it? I don't know what's left. I don't know who has it. It's just an absolute mosh guess. pit. Oh. He just pulled him oh. on the ball. Jesus. Ah, yeah. oh, the ref. Fuck. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. Bloody hell! <laughs> oh. oh, the ball's breaking into Cast Knock. Cobsy with the ball. Oh, Jesus! Oh, well, Cobsy kicks it into the air. Oh, what? Oh, my God! Oh, he's, the, ref's the, game, the ref is trying to draw the game. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Looks like, it looks like this fellow wants it. That's a big free. It's a huge distance. That's a very well struck shot. Looks like it's going wide. 
Wide. Wide. Yes. Wide ball. It's a yeah. And Finns have won the championship. Finns have won the championship. One point in the end. Yes. Huge win for the club. Absolutely delighted. Massive win. Oh, no. Absolutely brilliant scenes around here now at the end of the game. Everyone's celebrating. What a win, Chad. Oh, God. Na on. Nail biting at the end there. <laughs> nail biting. That was, that was Absolutely great superb. And um, thanks for everyone for tuning in with us today. It's been a pleasure to, to let the game on for you. Well done, the Finns and championship winners this year. Well done, boys. <laughs>